Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, this is part two of making a character from Minecraft. Um, and in this part we're going to do the unwrapping and texturing. So, to get straight into it, um, first thing we want to do is create the UV uh, editor window. So we'll just drag across here by left clicking on the triangle in the corner. Um, and we want to leave the 3D viewport just in for a little bit. Um, I'll just turn on my screencast keys so you can see what I'm doing. So I'll just hit the uh, tool panel with T and then um, go to the UV image editor and open the template so that we can um, accurately unwrap the character. Now we're going to want to go into textured viewport mode. Um, as you can see, the lighting is now taking an effect. So as I move the light around, you can see it affecting the model. Um, and so what I'm going to do, for the sake of texturing, I'll just turn this into a hemi uh, with, say, 0.5 energy. And I'll just uh, rotate it like that. And then Shift D, R to rotate and just sort of create a fairly even all-round lighting um, so that the character's lit and then I will create a last light from the bottom um, so we can see the underneath of the character being lit up nicely uh, we can select these lights and hit H so they're not taking up all the screen space with the dotted lines and stuff um, and then we'll select the character, tap into edit mode, press A to select everything, then U, and go to Smart UV Project, and just hit OK with all the default values there, they're completely fine. Um, just over here we'll quickly go to Template, so we can see that everything's working, so we can see that there's texture being applied now. Um, for whilst we're editing, first thing I'll do is hide the uh, hat piece uh, because that can get in the way um, and we'll start unwrapping uh, I'll just control tab to go to face mode and I'll select the front of the head and move it into place now uh, first thing I'll notice is that the head's looking upside down so I'll just hit R and then 180 to rotate it to be around the right way and I'll just move uh, the pieces to match the texture so this square here is the uh, front of the head. Now if you want to be uh, very precise with the unwrapping, uh, you can hit N and select a vertex and you'll see that it's got an X and Y value here. Uh, you can manually adjust that value if you like. Um, and just sort of make it the nearest whole number and you can see that that uh, vertex is now sitting very snugly in that corner there. So if we do that um, with the other vertices on the front of the face, um, you can be very accurate with how everything is. Um, 239, uh, 240, and 239 there. So with uh, the face like this, it's uh, not going to have any issues with pretty much anything. Um, it's sort of perfectly unwrapped to match the texture. Um, I won't do that for the rest of the model here, um, just because it takes a little bit of extra time. And I want to try and keep the video as short as it needs to be. Um, there's no need to show you sort of the repetitive action of unwrapping every single piece. Um, but I will show you just the head, so I can tell that that's fine because the writing's um, put in the right way, and I can read it. It's not backwards. Uh, the top of the head looks like it's rotated a bit around the wrong way. But I'll just finish this part so that it looks uh, squarish, and then R 
90 and R180. So we've got it round the right way. And we've got the back of the head. needs to be rotated by 90 and the side of the head um, this would be the character's right hand side so the head right and they can merge the uh, vertices in this viewport if you like um, so I can select or make sure I've got this around the right way first um, rotate negative 90 so I could then select uh, these two pieces um, I think control no, alt M mm. well, I thought you could uh, UEs do, do, do. I think stitch yeah and then it starts so things get a bit crazy there so I won't bother with that because um, it gets a bit complicated when you're doing stitching and stuff but for the purposes of this the just um, using the numerical uh, entering of everything then you can get everything to match up a hundred percent if you want um, so I'll just select this body uh, make sure you select all of it with L and then hit H to hide and I will select the bottom of the head so now I can see what's going on underneath there. Move this into position. Make sure I'm hitting G in the correct viewport. And negative 90 on the rotation there. So we've got that there. Um, I'll just unwrap the arm and leg and body off camera uh, and then come back to you. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so as you can see, I've now got one leg, one arm unwrapped. Um, and as you'll probably notice on the texture, there is only one leg and one arm. So to get that working properly, what I'll do is I'll select the leg, hit X and delete. Select the arm that's not been textured. X and delete and then select this arm um, using L again to select everything linked and I will shift D uh, go into front view um, and for the snapping um, I'll try face mm, no Nope, that's okay, snapping doesn't work, work for that. So, um, Shift D to actually duplicate it. And then I'm going to change this to negative 6. And then we've got an arm, second arm there. Um, get rid of that. So now we've got two arms. And then select this leg. Um, Shift D, and then. I'll change the snapping to vertex and it works fine. Just turn that off. Um, you may notice that the texture is not working at all. Oh, did I hear me? Okay. I only duplicated the one face, so I will select that. Uh, Shift D and then move that. We're snapping on to there. There we go. It's beautiful again. Um, so you may notice that the arm inner and leg inner of these two new uh, limbs are on the wrong side because this is supposed to be the outer. So uh, we can, it's probably best to hide the body and the left leg. Uh, H to hide and then select the arm outer 
Let me just move that across. Um, on here. Don't know why I can't though. Oh, because I've got the snapping on, of course. So, select that, and then just move that across through the inner. So now, that is the inner. And then select this one, and move that one to be the outer. Now I've got that on the outside. Um, it doesn't matter so much on this texture, but you may find that um, on any other uh, character skin that the it's very important to have um, everything around the right way. So that's all good. Um, we'll just hit Alt H and we need to do the uh, hat. So we'll just quickly do that. The front of the hat. Um, and with the hat especially, um, we will have to make sure the textures that we um, all the materials is set to allow for transparency because um, typically the actual hat portion of the texture um, doesn't use the entire sort of hat part whereas the arm part uses up nearly always the whole arm part and um, the hat part doesn't and um, there's typically sort of a bit of hat on the top and the rest of it is just transparency um, so we have to make sure that we're prepared for that. So we'll just move this into place. Um, again, what, all I'm really using here is uh, B for box select and G for move and just selecting the next polygon and I just put different colors on here to make it uh, distinctive um, and actually creates a little helmet around the character um, and you've got everything working properly This is the back. So G to move. And then that looks all good. Um, this is the character's right hand side. Uh, 90, uh, 180, there we go, and the bottom, and when I just selected this, I'm just double checking that I didn't select the head bottom, because um, that would be very bad, because the head bottom and the actual uh, hat bottom are in exactly the same place. Um, but I'm pretty sure, um, actually, in Minecraft, not the hat. Oh, it's always, uh, sorry, the hat is always uh, rendered on top, just because that's the way it is. So R90 on that. Um, so we've got a funny-looking hat on some dude. Um, now the uh, this texture here is completely useless to us other than for actually um, unwrapping um, so we can just delete that off there um, we're not going to use it anymore um, and I don't think we need to unwrap anymore so we can get rid of the uh, viewport there just by left clicking on the triangle and dragging to the left um, and then we'll go to material uh, turn off specular, turn the diffuse all the way up, 
and I just click transparency and turn that alpha value all the way down to zero. Um, it won't do much um, on anything without a transparency, but um, if we tick this here as well, so um, any texture here will um, work with uh, the alpha transparency. And the skins always come as PNG images, so that's perfectly fine. And then we'll just open char.png and it should be looking good. Um, just trying to think of how to make it display properly. Uh, turn on pre multiply, um, that tends to sharpen the um, alpha. Oh, I'm not to run UV, that should all be good. Um, we go image sampling. Turn off uh, mitmap, um, as that can be trouble. And I might even go to GLSL. Ah, there we go. Um, so, as you can see in the viewport, it's actually very. Um, very blurry, um, at which actually, if I show you, if we turn off interpolation here. When we hit F12, um, it's going to look great. So, oh, sorry. Do So we've got that. Um, so if we hit F12, it's looking all right. Um, if we turn that interpolation back on, I think it's on by default. Um, you'll find in the renders it's all very blurry, like it is in the viewport at the moment. So we've got that turned off. Looks great. And then Control Alt U, go to viewport settings. We want to go to system and turn off mitmaps. And then the viewport looks fine as well. Um, that's because the actual character um, skin is very, very low resolution. It's 64 pixels by 32 pixels, uh, which is next to nothing. Um, so we've got the character textured and looking great. Um, and I can just quickly find another texture. So uh, we can go open it here. And I've got a little honeydew texture. And we, you can see that the um, hat is working really well. Uh, it's got the little wings going up there. And there's the hat part around there. And he actually, the texture uses um, Part of the hat to make the beard and hair look bigger, which is quite cool. Um, so yeah, you can use any texture or any uh, character skin that you can download from Minecraft on this model now, and it will always work. Um, so yeah, that's the end of part two, um, and on part three we'll be doing the rig um, so we can animate the character. I'll see you then.